Hello, Lydia. Welcome back to the show. I've got my friend Stephen here, and uh, I met Stephen at my favorite coffee shop, Ground Zero, and I was uh, in a hurry one day going to lunch uh, with a friend of mine. I was running late. He was out there, and he said, hey, sir, sir, would you like to see a car that's for sale? And I said, well, I'm really busy. He said, oh, it's just right over here. Come over. It's very persistent. And so I said, okay. And so I went over and looked at this car that I'd never seen before, never heard of, called a Geely Cool Ray Sport, and I really liked it. And then like over like a month's time, we negotiated back and forth and finally I bought one. But so Stephen, uh, where are you from originally? You from Dumaguete? Yes, sir. I live in Dumaguete and I, I was born in Dumaguete. And so have you ever been anyplace else? Have no, you not yet, sir. But okay. now I'm living at my wife's home at Tanhai City. Oh, you're married, huh? Yes. You got children? Just married, right? Uh, January 11. Oh, congratulations. Yes, thank wow, you, you sir. You've gotten married since I've known you. Congratulations. <laughs> thank did, you, sir. Did you have a big wedding? Yes, sir. Kind of big. Did it cost you a lot of money? <laughs> yes, somehow. <laughs> How many uh, Lashans did you have? How many pigs? How many? How many uh, cooked pigs? Do you have any roasted pigs or the uh, six. Lashans? You had six? Yes, sir. Six pigs. Wow, that's a big <laughs> wedding. Yes, sir. Six, because they're like what? 5, because 000? some are donated from my friends. Oh, well, that's good. Yes. Because they they run like what? Five thousand pesos each. Uh, no, no, I cut the donation part, sir. It's like uh, gifts from it's my. Gift. Oh, they gave you. The, yeah. They give you live pigs. Gifts they... from my friend. No. Uh, already cooked. Yes, already cooked. That's a lot of food, though. Yes, sir. How many people? Sir, can... just cut the donate donated part. Is it okay? Cut the what? The, when I when I said donated. Donated, yeah. Yeah, because it, it kind of sounds odd. Okay. Okay, so. so it's not donated. What is it then? It's called gift. A gift. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah same, gift. It's the same uh, thing. It's okay. Gift, yeah, it's okay. fine. So you, you were giving them as a gift. That's nice of your friends yes, to sir. give you that. My friends and my cousins. But how many people came to the wedding? Uh, around, uh, we estimated around like 400, but wow. only 300 plus came. Wow. You yeah, must because be a... I have a lot of friends here in Dumaguete and my... My wife also has a lot of friends and relatives. Wow, that's a big wedding. It's really big, sir, because at, in my side also, I have, I have a big family. Wow, that's great. So um, you went to high school here? Yes, sir. I went from kinder to high school, Silliman University. Mm -hmm. And on my, I went to first year college at Silliman Engineering. After my first year, I went to I transferred to St. Paul. So I, I took HRM, Hotel and Restaurant Management. Okay, so you, didn't so, want, you decided you didn't, didn't want to be an engineer? Yeah, I didn't want to be an engineer. Because my dad is an engineer. He oh, wanted he is. me to be an what engineer. What kind of engineer is your father? Electrical engineer. Oh, wow. My wife's brother is an electrical engineer. So, um, how long were you in, in university? Four years? Uh, more than four years. More than four years? Yes, because I'm a little bit of a uh, pasaway they call at at college days what does that mean pasaway means like uh i go into like i cut class oh you're uh, a bad yeah. boy yeah bad boy sir <laughs> yeah i don't want to say it but yeah <laughs> that's all right i was a bad boy too <laughs> so um you graduated uh from university and in America right now, even if you don't have a college degree, say you just graduated from high school, you yes, can you get can. a job yes. anywhere. I mean, but at, here, sir, it's really hard if you just graduated at high school, yeah. because you need to be on a college graduate to get a decent job. Yeah, but, because if not, you'll just get a really hard job, like physical labor, something yeah, like that. Yeah, physical labor, right? Okay. Um, and so, yeah, like I was saying, in America, like it's, there's a shortage of people to work. And so anybody with a college, with a high school uh, diploma can it's get a job. It's already. You know, at the mall or, okay. you know, you yes, get a sir. job, you know, at a factory or, you know, good paying jobs. Like in America, it's $15 an hour U.S. Yes. to work at a fast food Yeah, it's really little. It's just uh, for a day, it's maybe it's... What is it? Why, that's essentially... $8. What it, $8 a day for an average job or... Yeah, average job. Now, did it go up recently? I thought that the, the uh, wages went up in, in the Philippines per hour. Uh, I'm not really day. sure, sir, but it went up for maybe 40 pesos, I think. Not sure. That's it, huh? Yeah, uh, eight, a dollar. <laughs> well, eight dollars a day. I guess there's probably no benefits or health uh, insurance. With us benefits, it depends on what job. 
mm -hmm. and what company. But here we have in Geely. Mm. Well, what was your first job out of university? Uh, my first job was at Ground Zero, where we met. Right. Yeah, okay. I was a cook there, line cook. Well, how'd you learn how to cook? Because my course is HRM, Hotel and Restaurant Management, we cook. Oh, okay, and they taught you how to cook? Yeah, they taught, they taught me how to cook. It's a good skill to have, you know, learn yes. how to cook, yeah. And how long did you work there? Uh, eight months. Eight months? Yes. So, and, yeah. after, from there, I, I applied here at Geely. How'd you hear about Geely? Uh, referred by my friend Noel Osenia. Oh, okay. From St. Paul also, graduated at St. Paul. Hmm. And uh, obviously you knew nothing about selling cars. Yes, um, sir, but before, I used to sell online. Oh, you did? Yes, I used to sell football jerseys that are Class A, the replicas only. Mm -hmm. And also I sell beta fish, fighting okay. fish online. I ship to Manila, I ship to nationwide, I ship. I saw some fighting fish over there. Are those yours? Yes. No, that's not mine, sir. Oh. But before, I used to sell online. I, I don't sell here, hmm. but I ship it from different cities in the Philippines. Well, the fighting fish, aren't those um, originally native to like the rice paddies? What, sir? The rice paddies, is that where the, the, those fighting fish come from, like in nature? Yes, sir. That's what I thought, yeah. It's called, the uh, uh, what's the name, betta fish, yeah, fighting fish. The betas, right? Yeah, betas. Yeah. And so, um, you got the job, the job at Geely. Yes, sir. Um, and what was the training like for this job? Was there a lot of training? Like I used to sell uh, Jaguars and Land yes, Rovers. Yes, we have a training, sir, online. Oh, online, yes. Yeah. Sometimes face-to-face. Uh, -face. Okay. But I was hired here last August. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's my first in the car industry. But but I I worked so hard so that I I wanted to learn. Mm -hmm as fast as I can hmm. so that I can sell more cars because here we need we have quotas we what? need to sell like uh, we have a quota so mm -hmm. that we can be a regular employee here at Geely. Well we put some pressure on you huh can you say what the quota is or is it confidential? It's confidential. Okay, sir, anyway. <laughs> um, but the thing is uh, these cars, I'd never heard of Geely before until, actually I saw, met you, you showed me my very yes, first sir. one. I showed you. <laughs> and uh, I just love mine. I mean, I absolutely love the car. Thank it's you, one sir. of the nicest cars I've ever owned, drives beautifully, not any problems with it at all. And uh, you know, for the money, I'm not gonna get into prices or anything like that, but for the money, you get a lot of car. Yes, sir. You, know, you get a lot of car compared, compared to say a Toyota or a Honda or you know, a Ford or Chevy, whatever, you know, you get a lot of car with a Geely. Yes, sir. I'd read somewhere online in China, because it's a Chinese company, Geely, um, that in China, they subsidize the uh, car manufacturers, which means the government gives the manufacturer money. And so, for that reason, the manufacturers that make Chinese cars, especially this one, they um, have less overhead yes, sir. than like Toyota or Ford yes, would, sir. so they're able to sell their cars much cheaper. Much cheaper, right, sir. Yeah. Which is a good thing for the yes. buyer, you know. Yes, sir. But the quality is really good. The quality is excellent. Um, can you tell us a little bit about um, Geely as far as like, you know, I know that they, they bought out a couple of other dealerships or a manufacturer. What, sir? What, sir? Can you tell me a little bit about Geely as far as the history of the company, what you know? But the his, uh sir, I'm not really. <laughs> well, like, for example, um, I heard that they, they bought Lotus. Yeah, they bought Volvo. It's right here, sir, yeah, in bought... our... Yeah. Our this is our history wall. Okay. We can look at our history here, but one of the main they bought one of the main uh, uh, in the history of Geely is they bought Volvo. Yeah, that's a yes. really quality car. Quality you know, car, sir, and safe, also very safe car too. Austin Martin. They own yeah. Austin Martin yes, too. Yes, sir. They own Austin Martin already. Wow, I love Austin Martin. That's one of my favorite cars. Yes, Austin sir. Martin. Wow, I didn't know that. I'm going to tell my friends that. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, it's it's also really one of cool. my favorite cars, especially when I played Need for Speed it's before. It's a James Bond car. Yes, sir. Austin Martin is real is really a good car. Yeah, a really good car. And so, um, I guess there's different things from different um, cars that are different manufacturers that they own. For example, the engine is the engine a Volvo engine. The engine, sir, is just Geely. 
Okay, but, it's their own engine. But some some of the technologies and maybe the engines of the car is inspired by Volvo okay. because they also bought the the factory of Volvo. So the engineer mm -hmm. engineered also the this hmm. car. Engineer of the of Where's the factory of Volvo? Sweden. Oh really? It's yes, in Sweden. Sir. So are some of these cars made in Sweden or where are they made at? Uh, they are made in, this is manufactured in China. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. It's made in China. Mm -hmm. But, they but maybe the design and uh, the, the technology, the engine, it's inspired by Volvo. Got it. They've got yes, the rights sir. to the patents yeah. and stuff and everything like that. They know that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I used to sell um, Dodge Chryslers like the, the uh, Dodge Chrysler Challenger. And, uh, the, um, and those cars, and they had the, um, the transmission, I and also Jeeps, and I recognized the same transmission, or yes, the sir. same shifter, as you'd find in like a Hellcat, or yes, you know, a Challenger, or Charger, you know, very similar. Um, so uh, you waiting, the new Cool Ray, I wanted to show that, but it's not here yet. It's not yet here, sir. Hmm. Is that your best selling uh, model, the Cool Ray? Yes, our best seller is the Cool Ray, it's our, what you call this flagship car. Oh, it is, yeah, okay. it is our flagship But it's car. not the top of the line. This car over here, is the, isn't that the top of the line, this big one? Yes, sir, but but the, the for me, sir, yeah. for, I think the Coolery is the one who made somehow the brand known. I think so too, yes, yeah. Because it's, as you can see, when we roam around the city, we always see the Coolery. We do, you're right, yeah. Because now I notice them, so I, I, they even flash our lights at each other, you know, when we yes, drive sir. around. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, but this one, this is our seven-seater. This is the yeah, Okavango. That's a big Our car. mild hybrid. Wow. Oh, yeah. hybrid, huh? Yeah, it's a mild hybrid, sir. It's, there's a difference between, there's three types of, there's full, full EV, there is mild hybrid, and this, there is hybrid, full hybrid. Full hybrid can act independently. Can the gasoline, you can switch to gasoline, you can switch to electric. But this one, the mild hybrid, the electric is assisting the gasoline. Oh, so, yeah, so that you can, uh, you can, what, uh, you, so that you will have a fuel efficient. Hmm. Uh, well, I know my car gets great gas mileage. I'm surprised how good a gas. Port. It's got a lot of power too, but yes, sir. I haven't even used the sport mode yet because I don't need it. Uh, yeah, sir. But, uh, for me, uh, what I can advise, if you use the sports mode for our cool ray, it's during the highway drive. Okay. Yeah, long drives. If you want to overtake, because sometimes, usually from the cars from other brands I've tried, I, I'm not going to mention, but mm. when, you, when you press on your accelerate, accelerator mm -hmm. uh, there's a delay right because the turbo yes but when you use the sports mode at our coolery there will be no delays mm. okay it's very responsive mm. can you if you're driving along at say 40 kilometers an hour can you switch into yes, sport sir. mode while you're driving yes sir okay while you're driving you can switch any yeah. mode so it's there's three modes. There's echo mode, there's comfort mode, and there's sports mode. So the echo the mode comfort. is when you know, on city drive. Okay. If you want to to like save your fuel. Yeah. Yeah, especially on traffics. Yeah, on this road is yes. terrible. Yes. Really. Especially yeah. there. At yeah. Because the, we drive all the way to Kong. <laughs> and the comfort mode is our default mode, which you call it's a normal mode. Okay. So the sports mode is when you go, what I can advise is when you go to the highways, you won't be, uh, you can overtake easily. I was overtaking easily with the economy mode, really. Economy mode? Yeah, it's yes. fine. Yes, sir. I was surprised. So yeah, I got to try that out. Huh. You should, sir. I will, for sure, yeah. I'm still learning some of the technology, you know, in the car. There's so much um, features that, my last car was an Infiniti FX45 which is a very expensive car I bought in 2005. Yes, sir. That car was like $56,000 US in 2005. $56,000. And when I ordered it, I said, I want every single option that's available, everything. And it had like the things were available back then, it had some of the radar, the cruise uh, control was like, it would uh, guess the distance between the vehicle in front of you, but 
My Cool Ray has even more features than that yes. Infinity had. I love the turn signals. When you turn the turn signal on, you know, on the left-hand side, the camera shows you what's on the left-hand side of the car. Yes, sir. The same thing with the right. And also, I have a very narrow road that goes to my house on the beach. And so sometimes... No, sir, especially here in the Philippines, oh, we yeah. have very narrow roads. Very road. narrow roads, you know, especially the dirt ones. And like chickens and dogs and stuff. Yes. And actually, the camera shows you if there's a chicken running underneath your car. You can see that. Yes, sir. And the sensor's bleeping as you're going along so you don't scratch your car. Lots of cool features. Yes, um, sir. Our cool, our cool ray has plenty of cool features. Yeah, I can't think of anything I'd like to have on it that it doesn't have. I really can't think of anything. Um, and we just uh, figured out that it's got the the memory card. We got the memory card installed uh, you in bought there. It, sir. Yeah, we got that installed. So you can uh, literally rec be recording everything while you're driving in case you have an accident. Yes, sir. You got it all recorded yes, from sir. all the cameras. That's nice, too. Um, so, uh, what's your plans for the future? Uh, my plans in the future, sir, is uh, maybe to sell more cars, mm -hmm. especially here, mm -hmm. because I really love this brand. No, I do too. Yeah, uh, because you know, if you want to sell the cars, you should love the cars also. I agree. It makes it much easier if you're yeah, enthusiastic about it. It makes it, it yeah. much easier to sell them. Yeah. And you should love your work also. I agree. So for now, I'm my plans right now is to improve, improve mm -hmm. how I sell my cars, how I sell the cars, not yeah. my cars. Well, I want everybody to know if you're interested in, uh, in buying a Geely or just test driving one, come down here and Steven, uh, he can show you around. I'm gonna have his business card. There'll be a picture of it at the end of this video so you can see his business card. Contact him, um, tell him I sent you and uh, I highly recommend these cars. If you want something that Nobody else has. It's different than the other cars, but you get a lot for your money, a lot for your money with these cars. Um, so you're married now. Uh, how many children do you think you'll have? I want to have three. Three? Okay. <laughs> yes. Three? Soon, sir. Soon. Okay. Good for you. Um, well, I guess that's pretty much it. You know, thank you so much. Um, you've been a great salesperson, very attentive, answered all my questions. You know, if I call you, you call me right back. So. Um, come down to this dealership and tell them where the dealership is located. Uh, what's Tell them where the dealership is, where we are, how to find this place. Uh, this is uh, located at Cibulan, Poblacion Cibulan, Negros Oriental. Okay. So, Gili. Yeah, so you, you'll see Toyota. Pass up Toyota, don't yeah. go there. <laughs> and keep going and it's like maybe 500 meters or something from Toyota. Yes, sir. On the right-hand side of the road if you're coming away from Dumaguete. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, Thank thanks you, sir. for subscribing. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. We'll see you next time. Bye.